Hello everyone, it's me again, Christian from Anchorsoft. And today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create reports with our WYSIWYG What You See Is What You Get Preview Designer. Uh, let me go back to what we have to do when we create reports with imprinting. So when it comes to pivot tables and tables, we have to recreate the structure, the levels and the formulas and all the, the columns to have the same look and feel as we have it in our worksheet. Okay. And then we have the click tabular reporting that uses a similar approach by having these um, placeholders for our IDs of the tables. And if you have a little less time and imagination, we have Anchorshare for you with our Visivic Designer and the Preview Window. I'm going to show you how it looks like. We activate the Preview Window, we give it a full size and switch over to Page Fit. And when we're going to add a new element, and I'm going to select Click Object, I select this pivot table here. Um, I can keep the size as it is, so it will also only this size on my report, or I can change it by uh, setting the width. And it will transfer the full styles and designs that we have in our original table. So color coding, columns, etc. Everything will be on the right place. And what if the original style change the design or the column orders no problem so if we change the column order or even change the pivoting we go back to our report that will be absolutely in the same size style design as you have it in your original table okay but what if we don't like the header color the line coloring, the background coloring, etc. what we have in the original one. So we want to change it. And that is also possible by just switch over to table, set column styles, and we can create our own column styles. Let's change the fill color of my header to some kind of bluish. And what it does is it changes only the things that you have adapted in the column style. So you have the original color and formatting style plus that style that you change uh, in our column style designer. All right, okay. What you see is only representation of the first 10 rows of your, uh, of your column, of, sorry, of your uh, table. So when we switch from live draft to preview, it will get all the data. And that is in that case, uh, three pages. And anytime the preview designer shows you already the original PDF. So I'm going to switch to the PDF. We will see that is already the SVG representation of the table with our multi page, column repeater, page numbering, etc. And of course, with the sums and totals. Okay, so. Let's go back to our preview, live draft. And as you see, it always takes one or two seconds to show the representation of the table. And while we work with other objects, we can deactivate this. So it will only show us a thumbnail of the table and we can add other objects to our preview. Let's add a text object and drag it above the table and let's call that a text object and we can use either just text like sales rep report and it will be shown on my screen here going by change the font to blue fill color to white, give it bold, size 25, bigger on my screen, so it will show all the information directly on my screen while I'm editing the data here. Let's add another table, sorry, another text object, 
and this text object shall contain not only text but a formula and formula can be any expression that you have in your click so like show me the actual amount and it will show my actual amount and if you want to have it formatted of course no problem you can use all the formatting functionalities that you know from your click functionalities like the nums and blah 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 and it will be there in your text box and the same functionality as before we can change the size 30 percent of the page and give it a better font style like blue and white like to we can center the content and also change the font size to 20 so it becomes a kind of a kpi and everything you do is directly in uh, shown in our live chart video here adding another chart no problem at all we add a new chart drag it above the pivot table if we like to select click object click on that it's, it shows this orange border, change the size if we like to, apply, and it will become automatically part of my report. And uh, since the size is now 100% in height and width, all the other objects have been dragged to the second page. So that's why I'm going to set the height only to 50%, so the combo chart will be on my first page. And anytime if I want to see the final result, I change from live draft to preview and then it will change the thumbnails to the original one. And now we have our report done and ready. And one of the important things is while you work with your report designer, you're always able to copy the current image that you see on your screen to either an image or if you like to you can copy to the clipboard and use it in different other applications. And if you're done, close the preview designer, close your edit sheet, click on the report and just wait for the result. And that was how easy it is to create reports using our WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get preview designer. Hope you liked it. Bye bye.